this is a quick run through of how I'm moving this uh, manhole or inspection chamber as they call them in the trade which uh, I am not a member of, I hasten to add. So um, as you can see here we've got this uh, waste pipe coming out of the house and another one here on the extension we're building and um, there is the manhole which I've removed the upper section of but you can kind of see Uh, the two waste pipes which we were just looking at earlier they come into the manhole like that and run down here to the septic tank or perhaps if you're in a town that might be connected to the main sewer or something like that so the problem I've got here is that the footing which I can't move that way because there'll be a door there and I can't move that way because there's a window there already um, runs straight through the middle of the manhole which is highly annoying but there you go um, so we're going to have to we're going to have to budge that over to here. So in order to do that, I've got everything as ready as I can uh, to I've exposed the pipe here and here, and I've dug the hole ready for the inspection chamber. So there's as little interruption to the um, flow of water coming out the house as possible. And um, uh, I've also worked out how this will go together. By, excuse me, I'll just get down on the track. And I've worked roughly out that when you position this in line with the existing one, obviously, uh, I can run a pipe down from here to there to go into that one, and this one here. I'm going to have to zigzag through the wall like this using 245 angles, which I've checked with building regulations is an okay thing to do. And that will pass through the wall, which would be built up here um, after the foundations are in. So um, that's roughly how you go about moving a manhole, which is in the way of a building. Uh, it's quite a lot of work. And if you've got one of these old brick built ones, um, which would be a square cover like this, or maybe, um, then you um, built to allow about four hours or more to break out the old manhole because it's like they have a really thick concrete base on the bottom and there's uh, quite a lot of work to break out even with a fairly meaty breaker. Um, cause, uh, but nowadays we use these plastic ones which uh, should be quicker to install anyway. And there'll certainly be less interruption to um, uh, the uh, flow of waste out of the house. And one important thing to do is to put a note on all the toilets in the house saying people not to flush them or uh, go to the toilet in them because that, once we've disconnected these, uh, that will be, be very unpleasant if someone did. So there you go. Any questions, please post them in the comments. Thank you. So there you go. Just finished it doing it and uh, there's, there's where the old manhole was there and uh, you've got your inspection chamber here the main flow goes through that lowest part and then you feed in your other pipes from uh, in through the side through the sides so um, I suppose if you could it would be advantageous to use a straight through flow say if you're bringing a pipe from over this way but there you go, got the kitchen tap on and the bathroom tap on, which you can see come out of different uh, different pipes, just to check everything's working, which I'm sure it would, because um, where else will it go? So there you go, hopefully there's room for my wall there next to the pipe, and uh, I'll put lintels over the top now when I'm building, building up to DPC level. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheerio, bye.